So I wanted to share a story with you guys. Actually, this morning, I went to visit a house. Uh, I went to look at a house and visit some sellers of a particular home and had a meeting with them in regards to their property. They were sharing with me that they were hoping to get as much money as possible uh, on the sale of their home and they had been doing all these little renovation projects in the basement, upstairs, all these little things to kind of improve the home. Um, we went through the house from top to bottom and they kind of were asking me, you know, in my personal opinion, uh, were they on the right track? And I had asked them, you know, how come, you know, almost every renovation project they had started, they hadn't finished. And they said basically that's due to uh, time, but mostly money. They didn't have the money to finish these and that's why they hadn't put their house on the market yet. And they wanted to get their house all completely renovated before they put their house on the market to sell it. And so that was their biggest hiccup is they didn't have the money to finish it and because they weren't finishing it, they weren't putting it on the market and they weren't getting ready to sell. So they were asking me different types of questions and you know, after kind of going through and dissecting each of the projects they were doing, believe it or not, there were a lot of projects that they had started, had actually invested time, had actually invested money into that were not really gonna give them a very good return, meaning it wasn't gonna really appreciate their house very much. So they might have spent, for example, $5,000 to fix a certain part of the home, but it might barely appreciate the house about $5,000. So in cases like that, sometimes, if it's not something that's going to um, ruin the house as far as, uh, or make the house unhabitable, let's say, uh, it doesn't make sense to sometimes finish those particular parts of, of the house. Uh, you know, particular parts of unfinished basements. You know, it doesn't make sense to finish a storage room because you could spend three, four, or five thousand dollars in a storage room and it's not really going to give you back three or four or five thousand dollars in return. So we went through and kind of dissect each of their projects on, on what they were doing, what they were hoping to do, and kind of narrowed it down to where they really should focus their time and money. And it wasn't every single project they had started. Uh, there were only, after we were all said and done, just a few that were really going to bring their value in their home uh, at a much higher place. So this was a particular house I went out and took a peek at. Um, we are um, not going to be buying the home, uh, but there's a good chance that we'll possibly assist them maybe in listing the home. But um, it was one of those deals that didn't work so great for us as investors to purchase, but we were able to sit down with those particular sellers, I should say, I was able to sit down with those particular sellers and really help them understand where they should focus their energy, time, and money into uh, renovating and finishing these different home renovation projects in their home to really actually increase the value so that when they do go to put their home on the market, um, they are going to get top dollar versus other projects that they shouldn't waste their time uh, focusing on. So, uh, you know, we don't buy every single house, but we do love to go and meet with different sellers. And, and, you know, if we can't buy the house, we are always super happy to help in any way we can with kind of sharing where they should utilize, uh, you know, their time and their energy and their finances. Um, we're happy to share, you know, tip, tips and tricks on what you shouldn't do, what you should do, and how to get the most bang for your dollar. And uh, if you've got a house that you're thinking about selling, Hey, please feel free to give us a call anytime and we want to thank you and I want to thank you I should say so much for watching this video.